Yo, 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 everybody. So, today, Alphabet Cup. Uh, this was brought to my attention by Joseph or Spyglyph. Uh, I had taken a glance at it. It was the other metagame of a month that Smogon votes on monthly and showdown implements. Uh, I looked at it before, Alphabet Cup. Uh, he explained it to me and that basically won me over and oh my god, I have to try this. Uh, basically how it works is each Pokemon uh, gets whatever their move pool is. Uh, normally, so like obviously Machamp gets dynamic punch and knockoff, but you also get any move with that starts with the same letter as you. So I mean like, it, hard to explain, here are some examples. Machamp now gets Mock Punch and Milk Drink because they both start with M and Machamp starts with M. Bunnelby gets Belly Drum and Bullet Punch. Uh, Salamence gets Sacred Fire, Shell Smash, and Spore. Rotom Wash gets Rapid Spin and Roost or Recover. Greninja gets Geomancy, Heatran gets Heal Order. Those are the, and I also have Giga Drain on Greninja uh, for recovery. And I think that, other than that, I mean, I have Physically Defensive Rotom Wash with Roost and Special Defensive Heatran with Heal Order. So I have Reliable Recovery on both my walls. I have a Special Setup, Physical Setup, which is Broken Pokemon, and Bulky Attacker with Recovery. So, I mean, uh, I'm just going to see if I can actually find a battle because nobody plays this goddamn tier. Uh, it's unfortunate because it's a really cool concept, I think. I mean, it, it's kind of broken, but it's exactly like Stab Bonds, where everything is just kind of broken. Like, everything in letter S gets access to Spore and Shell Smash and, like, all of the hazards. They get Sticky Web and Stealth Rock and Spike. Um, everything in B gets Belly Drum and Baton Pass. So, I mean, there are obviously a ton of broken things. Um, I think the only thing that are banned are Oko things. Don't quote me. I actually have no idea what's banned and not banned in this metagame. All I know is uh, there's a lot of broken fun to be had, and not a lot of people are taking advantage. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just see you back when I find the battle, because it could take a very long time at 1.20 in the morning. Okay, that only took 15 minutes. Wow. Uh, his team... I couldn't even tell you. Latios. What was Latios? Cresselia get... I, I don't know. Sableye's gonna be annoying. That's all I know. It's gonna have Spore. That, that, that's all you need to know about that. God the tell what up. I don't know what moves these things would get, and I feel like I'm just gonna get surprised and popped. But, uh, it's fine, because I have... Shell Smash, Settlements, for late game, Destruction. Um, I don't really have anything that wants to go to sleep. I guess it would be Machamp, because I feel like he's... Yeah, there it is. Pop. Uh, I'm going to knock off in case he doesn't put me to sleep, but I don't see why he wouldn't just put me to sleep. Maybe he'll do something weird like Will-O-Whisper. No, there's no reason for him not to put me to sleep. Maybe he'll set up Stealth Rock or something. Or Switcheroo. It gets Trick normally, so I mean... I don't know, but <laughs> you thought you were taking my- what just happened to my chat? That was weird. Uh, there's the spore. Okay. I mean, it gets tricked normally, so it's not a novelty that Sableye gets switcheroo or error or, or anything. Uh, I could go with the Heatran, but I don't want to get tricked. Ah, oh, crap, I shouldn't have knocked off, because now he's going to take something's item. Uh... Uh, I want everything to have its item. I'm gonna stay in. That was a very stupid play. I just don't want to get tricked. I, I, that would not be fun. It would, just wouldn't be fun. Ah, uh, I do have Rapid Spin, Rotom Wash, and if I can get rid of the Sableye, I can go in and Rapid Spin. So I think I'm gonna stay in and knock off. Ooh, that would be a great time to wake up. Thanks, my champ. Um, I don't know what item you had. Left these. Goodbye. Okay, it's time to switch out into my Rotom Wash form. Oh, I wish I wasn't scarfed. Hmm. I don't want to take an earthquake to the face. I do have Giga Drain on Greninja, so I could just go here. Which he's absolutely not going to see coming. <laughs> there, I, I'm not going to set up quite yet, but I am going to pop, pop him with a Giga Drain. Um, yeah, that's definitely going to kill. I don't need, I mean, I'm protein Giga Drain. It just dies. Uh, too bad Greninja doesn't get Giga Drain normally, because that would make a mockery of Rotom Wash form. Uh, and he's just going to forfeit. That is very upsetting, because it means I'm going to have to look for another battle. Darn. <laughs>
<laughs> well, let's, uh, let's start the 20 minute gruel challenge. To... We're in for the long haul with this live. I'll be back. And here we go. Uh, this looks like a very difficult team to play around. Darmanitan. What that get? Dark Void. <laughs> there, there's a the move. Dark Void. Uh, Kiram will get knock off, and that's it. But that's still gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, Toxic Croak would get. I couldn't even tell you what that's for. Registeel gets recover. Uh, Exhydro gets extreme speed, but I mean, why would you bother? And of course, Sableye is annoying as shit. I think, once again, I'm just gonna lead Machamp, because it's the only thing on my team that I wouldn't even mind going to sleep. So, that's gonna work out. And I just can priority put me to sleep, I assume. Um, if he doesn't, like I said, I'll knock off again. Um, but yeah. Could put on a grass type over the bumpy. I mean, I. Your, my choice for the. Uh, for belly drum user, Breloom would also get belly drum, and it would also get bullet punch, and it also has mock punch, but. Um, I don't know. Who hmm. knows? That's so annoying. Why? Why? He has a focus sash too. Are you kidding me? Who would do such a thing? Uh. Why does my chat always do that? Whatever. I kind of wish I was guts, but then that would just make me wish I was running Conkleder. And the whole point of this was that I got milk drink, and it was going to be really fun and bulky to use. But apparently, when everyone's just spamming Sableye, not as fun and bulky to use. Uh, I feel like I can go to Heatran, although he might be double status, and that would just be straight up terrible. I'm gonna stay in a knockoff again. Can we stop this? <laughs> it's the second time in a row that I've stayed in on a save line. It's just set up on me instead of putting me to sleep. I'm not okay with this whatsoever. I don't mind switching Heatran in on it though, because I have reliable recovery finally on Heatran, and uh, I'll be able to recover up later if the need be. He's just gonna set up all the hazards and I don't actually have a way to remove them so that's just getting on my nerves real quick. Yeah, you can GTFO and not die and I didn't even get the burn which means you're gonna get up a layer of spikes as well. Holy crap, I hate you Sableye. This is unbelievable. Um... Not too bad. Stealth Rock, Sticky Web. Sticky Web doesn't affect too much on my team. Yeah, it affects Greninja, which is a pain. He has... He doesn't have Spore! Why? Taunt will o -Wisp, Dual Hazard. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Um, Defog obviously gets learned by a lot of things. Uh, Diggersby gets Defog, but for some reason I ran Bunnelby over Diggersby because I'm silly. Does he break the mold? Well, that's just a pain in the ass now, isn't it? <sighs> Gotta go to Machamp, because I mean, I'm not gonna stay in with Heatran on an Earthquake. Um, Sableye is such a pain in the ass. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, that just died. Well,. At least he has extreme speed, right? This is so silly. He's just gonna straight up sweep my team. I think I just straight up lost. Especially because I can't even get off a rapid spin with Rotom Wash. Whew, boy. I think I have to go into Silomets and hit him up with a Sacred Fire. I mean, I could go in and spore him. I yeah, asked what I'm gonna. I mean, I think this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to go in here. And uh, pull out my late game sweeper very early because it's literally the only thing I have against this extra drill. I would go for Sacred Fire and just kill it, but yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm just gonna straight up kill it. There's no reason for me not to just click Sacred Fire and kill this bloody thing right now on the spot. Uh, unless he's Scarf for some. No, he's Life Orb. He literally showed Life Orb, which means he might stay in. Oh, thank God. He lived! Well, pff, that's just good game. <laughs> Salamence, you weak piece of shit. How did that just eat up? I'm done. Toxic Croak would... I mean, yeah, you could use Fake Out Vacuum Wave. Get out of here. <sighs> okay. Okay. We still got a chance here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Not much of one. But a chance. Uh, he's gonna need the two turn sleep, and that's all there is to it. Welp, uh, that is very poor choice on your behalf. Registeel, Rock. What? Is there an R move? Is there an R priority move? Rapid shock. I hope not. And it lived too. Why am I not surprised? And no burn. Salamence, you're just <laughs> underwhelming. Maybe I should run fire plate. Um, the Excadrill is dead, and the Registeel is basically dead, and the Toxic Crook is asleep. So Salamence did come in and completely turn around the game for me, which I am very grateful for. Uh, I think Rotom Wash can come in. Heatran would be faster, and I would be able to come in and go for Flamethrower. And if he wants to go to Cube, I could go for Flash Cannon. Man, this is scary. I don't want to let it get her recover up. That, that, that's the thing. Recover on that thing would not be cool. Um, I kind of need Stealth Rock up. I'll be completely honest. I mean, I have ways to beat this thing with Flamethrower. Although, hmm. Hmm. Stealth Rock's going to be so useful, though, against those two pieces of crap. If I Stealth Rock and let it recover. He might switch out. No. Nope. Or he's faster. Oh, because I got the drop speed. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's a good thing I did go for those. It's a good thing I did go for that. I'm just going to go for Flamethrower. He goes for Shadow Claw. It does nothing. Flamethrower does like a ton. Good. I'll take it. Um, that thing should be dead. I should have got the 50% burn with Sacred Fire, but I didn't. Um, I assume he's going to switch out and not try to recover stall me, so I'm going to go for Flash Cannon. He actually is trying to recover stall me. Can I get a Spidoof drop? No, no, but it's just not gonna happen. <sighs> okay. At least when, uh, oh my god, he has curse too. You're not getting out of this without getting burned or getting critted. And. It, just stop. I don't have roar, so this is just gonna get real stupid real quick. I could go in and burn him with Rotom. I could probably be immune to everything he has. What would he have? Recover, Curse, Shadow Claw, and hopefully a Steel move. If not, I could just kill him with Bunnelby. It doesn't matter. I should get some kind of... Some form of hacks is eventually going to come his way. And I have 19 flamethrowers, and you're going to get burned eventually. And you're going to get burned without me having to switch out to Rotom to burn you. And if you didn't recover here, you die. Okay. 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 I'd also really appreciate those uh, leftovers gone, but I don't really have a way to knock them off, unfortunately. I also have more flamethrower than you have recover, so there's that. I can't miss. I think everything is just looking up for me in this situation. He's definitely uh, on the on the losing end of this. Uh, he can get in a curse like every 10 moves, and I can continue applying pressure. There's the burn! Thank you! It's only a matter of time. How many was that? It was basically right on the money. Good job, Pokemon. Nine flamethrowers and I got the burn. So, uh, I'm not quite sure why he's still trying. I mean, I'm gonna die in about three turns. So, stop recovering and just get your damage off before I crit you and you get really upset. Just get your damage off, dude. You're not gonna get anywhere with this situation. I burned your registry. Get over it. Okay, I'm just going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch it. There we go. He finally took my advice, got his damage off, which was absolutely negligible. In fact, it's not the worst damage. And I'm just going to be able to kill him off here with this flamethrower. Unless I get min damage. Or he switches out into Darman Man. That is absolutely fine by me. That still does a crap ton. God damn, you train. You're a good Pokemon. In fact, you don't have heal order in real life. Otherwise, this set would be so bread and butter standard by this point. It would just... Oh. Can we talk about Rotom Wash having recover and rapid spin, though? I mean... Oh, Darmanitan gets Dragon Dance! That's what Darmanitan gets! Holy crap! That is terrifying. Especially because I don't have a water move. Hey, this is fun. Uh, 
I need rapid spin off. Yep, I need rapid spin off because I need that bundle beast focus sash attack. I can just freaking foresee this very thing happening that if I don't have bundle beast focus sash, um, I'm gonna be screwed. He is radiating a bursting aura, which means he could hit me with earth power if he f so felt inclined. I'd love to get off a will o wisp. Uh, I think after Stealth Rock, Bunnel Bee could just kill that thing with a uh, quick attack, so I don't even need to worry about Darmanitan anymore. I'm just going to try to Willow. He did just knock off. Gets rid of my lefty. Please hit this. Thank you. Okay. So, Cube is more or less just fodder at this point. I'm going to try to Roost up. Uh, I'm running Roost over Recover for the same reason that I run Roost over Recover on Latios and Latias, because people might think it gets rid of Levitate when it actually doesn't, so they'll try to predict me and go for Earthquake on the turn where I Roost, and Levitate will still activate. Roost does not get rid of Levitate, people. And that's literally the reason I run Roost over Recover, because it can trick people. Um, I fell for it before, unfortunately. Even though I know, you just get into that, oh, I'm going to predict the Roost, and, uh, yeah, you get into that mindset. Okay, perfect. If there's ever a time to go in and set up Bunnelby, I think this is it. I mean, literally, he's burned and at half special attack, so... Actually, I could also set up Greninja. Ooh, ooh the possibilities. Uh, yeah, it's literally pick your preference, because I could sweep his team with either. I think I'd much rather sweep his team with a Bunnelby, though. I mean... Freaking bundle be. I'm just gonna click belly drum. Um, that's very stupid. Uh, he's <laughs> never mind. This is just a dumb set. I have focus eyes with belly drum here. Uh, if he hits me down to below half and I hang all with focus sash, I'm not gonna be able to belly drum. So, I mean, yeah, I'm dumb basically. <sighs> I'm gonna try it. Maybe he'll switch. I have no idea. I, I am now realizing the error of my ways. There it is. I'm below half, and I can't belly drum. <sighs> I hate Pokemon. That's <laughs> what happens when you try to team build really late at night. Don't do it, guys. Now that I don't have an item... Well, Darmanitan's now a problem again. Um, it's a... Please survive after... Don't die to that burn. Have lefties. Thank you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Greninja. Welcome to the show. Geomancy. Geomancy Greninja. Why am I running max speed on this? I do not need that much. <laughs> Especially when I'm doubling it. Whatever. Uh, yeah, this game is over as soon as I click Geomancy. It's a good thing uh, I, uh, I went into Bunnelby there. I noticed the fatal flaw on my part. Focus Ash and Belly Drum. Not a good combination. <laughs> so stupid. Why did I ever think that was a good idea? Oh my god, I can't even... I, I mean, I guess I'm gonna go with Breloom. Belly Drum Breloom. I could run, like, Belly Drum... I, I don't even know. Um, I'm just trying to think of Pokemon. I can't even think of any right now. There's probably some, like, really incredibly broken Pokemon that I, I'm just completely passing over. Like, Dragon Dance, uh... And now fairy type, please go for dragon move on me, that'd be fantastic. He went for knockoff. It's actually resisted because I'm a fairy type. Ha 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 ha
I could run Geomancy Gengar, but I mean, I already have Geomancy Greninja. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Let me let me know uh, if you guys want to see more Alphabet Cup. I think it's a really gimmicky and fun way to bring fun back into Pokemon, because lately, Pokemon's been getting really monotonous for me. And uh, just a silly, fun way, just like all the other metagame of the month things are, like Stabmons back in the day, that was fun, Ability Exchange, etc, etc. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I think it's pretty damn fun. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today, though. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. I uh, hope to see you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. See you later. Peace.